Hi, I'm Tom Wild, the CEO of Ramp, and I want to talk today a bit about the explosion of video as a communication medium within the enterprise. What's driving this growth? Well, let's start with the fact that what used to be an entire segment of the photography industry is now nothing more than a feature of every device we carry in our pockets. Video as a communication medium is being driven by a bunch of factors. First of all, consumerization of technology in general is a big contributor. Video has become a ubiquitous part of all of our online lives as consumers, whether it's YouTube or Vine or Instagram. Communicating with multimedia uh, is a basic way that we all communicate online today. And that's true in the enterprise as well. Um, the rise of mobile, social, bring your own device uh, are factors that are contributing to this growth of, of video content within the enterprise. Second, uh, unified communications. Uh, increasingly, we all have powerful unified communication platforms at our desk, just like mine here. Whether it's Skype or Link uh, or any of the IP telephony platforms in use within the enterprise, it's very easy to produce and share video over these devices today. Video, first of all, is an incredibly powerful medium uh, that enables you to show things rather than just describe things. And that has broad implications across many different uh, use cases, such as field collaboration, training, uh, sales and marketing, and others. Uh, some use cases that we see in the field uh, are things like uh, imagine being able to actually demonstrate how to repair a piece of equipment in the field and share that with other engineers at the home office. Or imagine uh, demonstrating how to make a sales pitch and sharing that with the thousands of reps you have in the field. Video is uniquely uh, powerful uh, in its ability to do that successfully. Um, in fact, uh, a recent study that we did uh, with Explorix, a research firm, found that uh, mature video cultures use video uh, for eight different types of communication as compared to less mature enterprises who tend to use it for more like three types of communication. You know, perhaps it's just something simple like video conferencing and, and maybe some marketing, as opposed to a mature environment where you have uh, obviously uh, adoption of some of the use cases that I just described. So how do you get started in creating a video culture within your enterprise? Well, like anything in the enterprise, it pays to start small and demonstrate success, and then share that success across the enterprise. So pick a use case where video is going to be particularly valuable, particularly effective um, at solving a communication challenge that you have. It could be something regarding uh, collaboration, it could be a marketing communication use case, um, or it could be something like sales training or even customer service. But pick a particular use case and figure out how video can be a more effective medium for communicating than the traditional text-based or document-based um, or even live support uh, that you've been doing to try to uh, deliver a particular message or collaborate in a particular way. Um, it also helps to have uh, the senior management and even the CEO lead by example. Perhaps have the CEO or the senior management team uh, shoot a video instead of sending out uh, long email updates about particular things. Or have HR communicate more with video uh, to make announcements or to showcase uh, uh, particular staff uh, and, and, and reward them or highlight their accomplishments. The other key to creating an enterprise video culture is make sure you have the tools in place that are going to make everybody successful. Um, so that means uh, building on the consumerization of, of technology within the workforce. Find a way to make it simple, select platforms that make it simple to upload, share, uh, and consume video. Uh, make sure that video can be viewed on mobile devices as we're all increasingly doing work on our mobile phones and tablets in terms of uh, email and documents. You know, video is a natural extension of that as well. Another important consideration when using video in the enterprise is have a specific goal. Video should accomplish a goal. A video should be actionable. A video should generate a lead or help close a sale or help train a worker uh, or help solve a compliance problem. Um, so make sure that you have a particular goal of how video is going to influence a particular outcome uh, in the situation that you're using it in. And take advantage of the fact that uh, video can be interactive with polls and quizzes and related content. What are some of the biggest challenges and opportunities um, that an enterprise has with respect to creating an enterprise video culture? Well, in many ways, video is becoming the new document. Um, things that we've done historically uh, in terms of enterprise communication with documents, which were PDFs or Microsoft Office documents uh, and other forms, are increasingly being uh, accomplished using video. Uh, but that means there's a new set of challenges around making video as searchable, shareable, uh, uh, and, and making it fit into content management, knowledge management, and compliance workflows. Um, rather than displacing those things, 
you want to make sure that you're taking advantage of existing platforms you have, but make video a first-class citizen within those platforms. And so making video look like a document means taking care to make sure that there's good titles, tags, transcription, uh, and metadata about video, uh, because video is born without all of those advantages as compared to a document. Um, also, understand video's role in terms of the social enterprise. Um, video is a medium that naturally wants to be shared by multiple parties. And also commented on, rated, uh, all of those things will drive the adoption of video as a primary communication means within the enterprise. So in summary, making video a first class citizen within the enterprise requires a balance of both cultural changes, meaning identify specific use cases and showing success where video clearly outperforms other types of communication, as well as understanding the key technical and platform challenges to make video easy to share, publish, uh, and uh, deliver messages across the enterprise.